Oh, he's bowled him straight through the gate. Welcome to Lords for the final of the Bob Willis Trophy. The news from the middle, Essex have won the toss and elected to bowl first. Ben Green and Tom Lennonby, the openers for Somerset. The latter having batted so well his breakout season, his first year in first class cricket, a couple of centuries along the way. Porter bowling with three slips and a gully. On the way at Lords to start the Bob Willis Trophy final, Porter bowls. Down the leg side to begin. Shout the leg before, close and gone. Lemon be gone for a duck. Cook straight in the book. Somerset lose their first wicket without scoring a run. Well, that's a big loss. It's a big, big loss. A man in form. Tom Lemon has been in good form in all formats this year, but he's got to go for a duck. Cook's now got four slips. Oh, it's off the outside edge too. The first runs of the final from the blade of Abel down towards the rope at third man. Short cut. And out to the boundary for a second, four in the over. On top of the bounce there, Abel in complete control. Nice clip that from Abel. Again, gap at mid-wicket. Runs away towards the boundary and trickles into the rope. So he's third four of the morning for the Somerset skipper, moving to 13. Nice shot to finish there from Green. The first time he's really been able to middle one down the ground. He's tried a couple of times and picked out fielders, but completing that ninth over with his first four of the morning. Green moves to eight, and Somerset 22 for one. Well, that's as good a shot as we've seen all morning, really. It's NAYC, National Association of Young Cricketers. 1984. Nice Green clips uh, away nicely off his hips. He looks strong to the leg side and picks up a bend. Oh, that's excellent timing again. You're absolutely right. Anything off his pads, he's been pretty good. Beautiful to continue. Smashed. Smashed off the back foot. Absolute beauty. Short of a length, a little bit of width. Punch through the covers. A little bit like Matt Floyd in his pump. Yeah, very similar actually. <laughs> Good morning, Niall. Lovely shot that. Oh, chance of a catch down the leg side. That is taken. What a spectacular grab from Adam Wheater. Diving full strength, one handed, just off the ground. Tom Abel clearly gloving that delivery from Aaron Beard. And Somerset are two down. Wheater took a really good grab and it's a big breakthrough for Essex. Nicely clipped by Byram. Half stop by the fielder but that will run away down this famous Lord Slope. First boundary for the number four. Edged and dropped straight through the man at fourth slip. Went down very quickly, stuck out of left hand and barely touched it. But that is a missed chance. Tough one granted. Essex will feel that should have been taken. Oh, he's bowled him straight through the gate and down the hill. Sam Cook deservedly gets his second wicket and Ben Green is bowled for 24. Oh, that's an absolute beauty. Top class bowling, he's worked over the batsman Ben Green. His stay has come to an end and Somerset have lost a third with 52 on the board. Steered off the back foot by Bartlett to get off the mark with a boundary. Perhaps not completely in control of the stroke, but all the way along the ground. 58 for three. Again, steered down towards third man, second boundary in the over. Nicely there, Byram, flipping through, just forward a square, racing out to the rope in front of the grandstand. He moves to 19, 67 for three. Oh, he's hit that well, hasn't he? A couple of slips in a gully, beard operating around the wicket. Lovely shot, Byram. Just about the shot of the morning. 
crashing into the rope in front of our commentary position. He moves to 26, 77 for three, Somerset. Yeah, spot on. Shot of the day so far. Beautiful, really, with a short one, a good bounce of the ball before, and then to climb onto the front foot. It's full again. Clips nicely through mid-wicket. Up the hill. Will it trickle into the rope? It will. Back-to-back -back boundaries. Byram driving again. Out to the boundary. Three in the over. On that front foot. A pristine square drive. He's 34. 85 for three now, Somerset. Yeah, and how quickly just one bad over has just changed this session, really. We, 85 for three is about on as even. Byram again through mid-wicket. Perhaps a misfield. Out towards the rope in front of the mound stand. Very good batting this from the left-hander. He's 39 from just 42 deliveries. 90 for three. Byram leaning on the front foot, defending behind point to complete the first session of this Bob Willis Trophy final here at Lords. Somerset going to the interval at 90 for three. Byram 39 from just 45 balls and Bartlett eight not out in 23 up the other end. Oh, beats the outside edge. What a start it's been in this session. Four maidens in a row. Edge and taken straight into the safe hands at first slip of Sir Alistair Cook. So the pressure built up has resulted in a wicket. George Bartlett gone for 12. It's 94 for four. Somerset, said I reckon be a little bit disappointed. Probably lost one more than they would like. Essex probably making the running, but it's been a decent decent game so far. Good contest between bat and ball, as you would expect this time of year. Eddie Byrams look good. Aggressive approach. He's been very positive in his foot movement. Looking to latch on to anything too full this afternoon. Yep, all three of these Essex seamers have enjoyed the conditions today. I think Sam Cook has bowled as, as well as any of them, has looked incisive spells from the nursery end and pavilion end porter as bowled from the pavilion end exclusively but all three have managed to keep the Somerset batsman under lock and key so it's a young Somerset lineup in the absence of James Hildreth lots of talented young men Tom Abel the oldest of 26 so uh, plenty for them to to learn about the game and progress, they've got a good man in Marcus Treskothic to learn from. Lovely. What a nice way to go through to a half century for Eddie Byron. That was just pushed time beautifully down the ground. The raise of the bat. You can hear the cheers from the Somerset dressing room just below us where we're commentating from. And loud cheers rang out there. Bit of bad news. I think you can probably see the ground staff hovering in the distance there. They've uh, resolutely stayed by the covers as if they're anticipating a bit more juice. I can hear patter of rain on the wooden uh, turrets above us. We're commentating from the right hand turret of the old pavilion. And uh, it's definitely just started to drizzle again. To the point at which the umpires have said enough, uh, and I suspect that may well be it for the day. It's been a rain interrupted day, a disappointing day from that regard, but a good one for Eddie Byram. Somerset have moved along to 119 for four. Eddie Byram, 51 not out, Stephen Davis giving him good support. <laughs> 